how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got a, another ranked video for a band that means a lot to me again. Today, we are going over the Red discography, the band Red, which is pretty much the heart of this channel. So, this is from worst to best. Here we go. We're going to try to get it done fast. Number seven, Release the Panic. This is my least favorite, but it's still a good album. It's actually grown on me a lot. There's my favorite songs on here are uh, Hold Me Now, Release the Panic, So Far Away, The Moment We Come Alive, Damage, and the bonus song, which I don't have on this CD, uh, As You Go. But this is a cool CD, so... So that is uh, really the panic. So yeah, that's what I, was, I forgot the name now for a sec. <laughs> now another, this one may be an unpopular opinion, but I'm still keeping it here. But number six of Beauty and Rage. Uh, this is a very overrated album, I think. It's not their best, to me at least. I mean, it's still a good album. I like it, but otherwise, it wouldn't have the CD. But it's a really good album. I think it was. Some of my favorites on here would have to be "Darkest Part," "Yours Again," "What You Keep Alive," "Gravity Life," "Take Me Over," "Heart That's Holding On," and "Imposter." So, yeah, I have no problem with the sound. It's just a little bit overrated. I think at least. So that's on Beauty and Rage at number six. Yeah, I hope you don't mind. Mind what I got here. This is a booklet to my uh, three disc set. Oh, it's here. But I'm going to show you the booklet from it. So, number five. Until we have faces. This has some of their good material. A little bit better than the other two. Uh, my favorites had to be Feed the Machine, Faceless, Let It Burn, Light of Me Denial, Not Alone, and the Piano Ballad, Him for the Missing, which is the closing track. So, yeah, that's. I don't have much to say about this album, but. It's still good. So, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't even show what's coming next. In a minute. Now, next one we have is their newest album, Declaration, at number four. Number four, I would say, is Declaration, like I said. Uh, it's their heaviest album, definitely, now. I was going to say oh, Beauty and Rage is their heaviest, but I think this one's a lot heavier. Uh, my favorite set to be the Carterize, the Evening Hate, the War We Made, made and my personal favorite, Sever, and then you have, which is featuring Breaking Benjamin's guitar player, and you also have From the Ashes, which has a cool violin part at the beginning, and a good way to close the album. So, yeah, that's Declaration. I don't really have much to say about it, but it's a good album. It's the first one they've done independent from their record label. So, that's pretty cool. Now, this one may be another shocker, but next one I have, a lot of people have at the bottom. Number three, Gone. This was the last album they did with their record label before they went independent. But I think Gone was a really good album. Still is. Uh, my favorite said to be E, Still Alive, uh, Losing Control, Singularity, Chasing Your Echo, AI, and my personal favorite, Step Inside the Violence. 
And yeah, you do have the song Gone, which is a little pop, but hey, it's still a good album. Or a good song, to me at least. So yeah, that's Gone at number three, which is an unpopular opinion. Now, well, where are you? Okay, number two, In the Silence, their debut album. 2006's End of Silence was a really good album. Still is. Uh, excuse me. Uh, but this has some of my favorites. That's two of my top two favorite red songs of all time. Already Over and Breathe Into Me. But you also have Let Go, Pieces, Lost. Even Break Me Down, which kind of sounds a lot like Lincoln Park, but which they were one of Red's influences, biggest influence, so yeah. And then you have even Already Over Part 2, which is a good way to close the album, I think. So yeah, that's End of Silence at number two. Now, this is the only one we have left, so you're probably wondering, you probably know what it is. Number one, Innocence and Instinct. This is hands down their best album. It's the one I like the best, at least to me. Uh, I have to say, uh, it has like some of my favorites from them. Another one of my favorites from them would be Fight Inside, Mystery of You, Death of Me, Never Be the Same, Start Again, the cover of the Duran Duran song, Ordinary World. And forever. Pretty much the list goes on. So yeah. That is Innocence and Sync at number one. So that is my list for Red in their discography ranking. What would you put the albums? How would you put the ranking, whatever? Where would you put the albums? That's what I'm trying to say. But hope you enjoyed it until then. Next time.